we uh, we don't know what is going to be randomized. The overworld may or may not be randomized. The dungeons may or may not be randomized to very large extents. The items may or may not be randomized. And uh, we are just going to, um, uh, you know, we're going to be in the same position as everyone that's watching. We're going to have to figure out what's randomized as we're watching. And the players are going to uh, have be under that responsibility as well. You know, the, the sooner that they can figure out what's going on, the sooner that they can figure out the best strategy and, uh, you know, how to approach the seed, how to, how to play it. So, yeah, with these particular flags, uh, understanding and interpreting what flags you have is definitely on the top echelon of the skills that you need, because if you don't understand what overworlds are on, it you could waste a lot of time. Uh, does look like we are getting ready to start, and Wood Sword is in its uh, normal cave. Yep. Uh, nothing too unexpected there. It seems like a fairly standard thing that happens that the Wood Sword is there. Um, and now, basically, what you're seeing is uh, the the players heading over towards level three. See if it's a. Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got drop groups shuffled here. We already know that. Uh, shuffle drop groups, HP shuffle as well, and important to note that there was an extra candle as well in the wood sword cave, so the players will be able to select that from the take any caves if they do happen to run into them. Um, it looks to me like the overworld probably is not shuffled. So. What we're looking for here is to see if there's actually a dungeon at level 3. Um, and it looks like there's going to be one because this looks like a dungeon. So Indeed. Now had a little, mind, farm. We, little farming we, for a bomb, but yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, was, no, you're fine. Uh, it looks like we've got pallet swap for sure and probably shapes as well as uh, with this being what should be level 3 as long as we don't have a shuffled overworld uh looks like those two flags are possibly on us as well yeah it, we've seen so four caves so far and they're all in their vanilla overworld first quest position so i expect that the whole overworld is just going to be vanilla first quest the map over on Dracados side absolutely confirming that this is shapes not a shape that you would see in any sort of vanilla playthrough of Zelda 1. This is uh, one of the newer features of the, the Zelda randomizer right here. Uh, quite a popular one, too. Something that the, the, the maker, Fred Coughlin, wanted to implement for a long time. Finally got it going, and I think it's been a pretty good success. Yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely agree. And, and with shapes, uh, a lot of things happen. You can end up with segmented levels that aren't normally segmented. Uh, anywhere up to, I believe, four segments. Uh, we did have a couple of level ones that had three different parts, meaning that while there's not normally a, a staircase to transport yourself around the dungeon, there was actually two in that case. Um, and basically... Six becomes the new seven. If you have any experience with the vanilla game, you know that level seven is 33 rooms and can be pretty daunting. Well, in this case, the way that the shapes are planned out and placed onto the ROM map makes level six that daunting dungeon. Uh, something else that we're going to be watching out for right now is... Um, our... Are they are they going to be seeing the Triforces in their original Triforce shape rooms, or will the Triforces just be anywhere? Because that's going to change their approach to the seed quite a bit as well. Um, you know, if they are in a, a phase of their seed where they just want to find the Triforce and move on, uh, it helps a lot to know that they just have to look for the regular Triforce rooms. But uh, if Triforces are not in just their own rooms, then uh, they might have to be killing a lot more enemies to find those Triforces. 
Yeah, the heart was out of the normal area that it would drop if drops were not shuffled. Generally, those get shuffled into some sort of room that is, is familiar, but we haven't seen the Triforce room yet. Uh, in fact, actually, they are in their normal spot, uh, at least in this dungeon. Now, that has happened before where one is in the normal Triforce room and in another dungeon it is not. But for the moment, it does look like drops are not shuffled. Yeah, I, I didn't see an item room, and... It looked like uh, Dracados basically full cleared the dungeon. Did he miss one or two rooms here? I think Yunos only has the Triforce room left, and I don't think that I've seen him find a staircase either. So perhaps it's in the bottom corner over here after they found the map. Or actually, it's uh, it could be behind uh, maybe that Gomer or something. I don't know. There's It looks like they're going to the bottom right-hand corner over here to see where it's at. Oh yeah, there's yeah, there is one key door down here. Yep. <laughs> Keys being a premium at a lot of our races recently. Uh, not one of those things that you generally like to push through. Yep. And it's the bow. Right. So that confirms uh, that items are shuffled. And it's also important to note that the bow might be a required item both within... Um, the first eight dungeons, perhaps, to get around a Goma block door, or uh, it might be required in level nine. Ganon may be required, he might not be required. We don't know until we get there. So. It, indeed, and to answer Game Boy F9's question from chat, it is not possible to have zero items in a dungeon. The way that shapes work and the way that we have it set up, it can either be shapes or first quest dungeons in this first Swiss round, which means that level one will have two items, and one of them will be on the floor, the other inside of a staircase. Level two will have one item on the ground. Levels three through seven will have one item and a staircase, and levels eight and nine will have two items and staircases. <laughs> It's really fun to watch Yunos do uh, those pumping movements, as many as possible there. Each one can save one frame every time he does it, basically, so... Optimizing the frames. Yep. Uh, another thing that looks to be the case is that we do not actually have randomized dungeon rooms. And what that means is that, for instance, levels 1, 2, and 3 do not normally have any rooms that can cause you to be blocked via the ladder or a river from progressing, whereas if that particular option is on, it, that can occur. But so far it seems that all of the normal rooms for, those, for these dungeons are where they should be. I guess that, but this should in fact be level 1, as we do not have a shuffled overworld. Yeah, we, we, the, the option that hides the, um, the, the level number is the shuffled start screen, and that's on, but with shapes, um, shuffled start screen, all that it means is that you can't see the level number, um, and, uh, because you don't know which level is which in shapes, it, because the, you know you don't have the original level shape to go by. Uh, having the the dungeon chart screen shuffled and the um the level number hidden can be quite an issue in shapes. But since we have vanilla overworld, that's not an issue here because we we know which dungeons are which just because we're working with the first quest overworld. Correct, and it is important to note that we did find another Triforce in its normal room which means that uh, we should be finding them that way in every dungeon, which is a big deal for the racers because with randomized HP, it could be a real pain having to kill every single room looking for the Triforce, and now once they get what they're looking for, all they need to do is just make their way and find that particular room. We have uh, Yunos finding the recorder in one. Uh, that would be required in this seed for sure. Um, we know, since it's a vanilla first quest overworld, that they're gonna need the raft, they're gonna need the recorder, they're... Um... That, those are the things we know for sure, I guess. 
Yeah, definitely. Power Bracelet tends to not be such a big deal with First Quest Overworld, especially since for the majority... Well, I mean, it's still 50-50, but a lot of the times, the only thing you're going to find are the take any roads, which can be helpful. But especially on a vanilla Overworld, it, it's not going to matter all that much. And you notice, know, unfortunately taking a death, Lugaria is still proving to be quite the adversary, especially with randomized HP and a wood sword. And I believe also to note, we should find the uh, item that's on the ground in level 1 and will be in the 4 block room that's only separated apart at each other by uh, 1 block vertically. Uh, is at least been my experience. That is still where that drop occurs, and in level two, it will still be in the four fireball statue room on the ground. Um, I I'm actually not uh, familiar enough with that aspect of these flags yet to know if that's the case. I I know that we were discussing it a little. I'd like to see if we can confirm it right here. For sure. Which actually is not the case, so yeah, there you go. Yeah. Red candle, which is nice, because I don't believe either player has got a candle yet. No, I don't think so at all. They uh, they haven't collected any money, they haven't... Uh, well, I, I think that uh, Drakados may have entered the shop. I'm not quite sure if he did or not. I didn't see him go into the shop, but uh, it's certainly possible that he did. He walked by it. Yeah, Yunos make it very good work out of the reverse damage boosts to the trap room to get through without taking too much extra damage. An unfortunate thing that I was doing yesterday when I actually had a ladder, so don't forget when you have the ladder. That's uh, something I'm notorious for doing as well. I mean, in the room right after... Not a bad choice. Uh, pushes him to for sure be able to get the white sword item, whatever that might be, and also puts him closer to being able to find the magical sword, which in this seat could actually be a pretty big boon, depending on what kind of HP we're looking at on Wizards. Yeah, it, it's a tricky balance when you're in a vanilla overworld, because you know where all the levels are, uh, so you want to just go to the levels and get the Triforces and the items if you're playing it. But at the same time, you know where all the hearts and the swords are too. So you can find anything on the overworld with very little difficulty. Um, so it's kind of your own personal choice how safe you want to be. Indeed, and Drakados looks like he wants to be pretty safe, does pick up the Coast Heart as well. Meanwhile, Yunos taking his third shot at this particular room with the Bulgaria that are just absolutely giving him a nightmare right now. for Vanilla Zelda 1, so more than capable of handing pretty much anything this randomizer can throw at him. Yeah, and over on Jokato's side, we find that, in fact, the Armost items are shuffled and the Armost themselves, and he manages to pick himself up a lot, which is a big upgrade to offensive power in what should be everything but dungeons 4 and 6, as it looks like we don't have shuffled enemy groups either, so we should have every dungeon hold their respective enemy set. Yeah, which means that they might want to be putting off level 6 for a little bit with the whiz ropes. Yeah, shuffled HP, whiz ropes, and shapes level 6 is one of those things I definitely save for the end of anything. It's, it's not fun to deal with, for sure. Especially if it ends up being segmented and you've got staircases that you have to deal with with whiz ropes. Zero HP bosses, as we see by this uh, Gliok going down extremely quickly. Yeah, 
The Yunos making him as well, over to level 2 as well. So we'll be right on the heels of Kratos here. I don't believe he picked up the wand, but he will find that eventually, I am sure. And the item in level 2 is the ladder! Yeah, y y uh, Dracados may have gotten a bit lucky with his wand find, I would say, um, because it seemed like he picked up the wand solely because he might have been looking for more money for perhaps a, a blue ring potion or purchase or something along those lines. Um, but, uh, it, yeah, I, so I, I don't think there's two flags that have to be on in order for something really useful to be under an Armos there. The Armos have to be shuffled and the power bracelet has to be shuffled. And I'm not sure that Yunus is going to take the time to check under those Armos when he walks by them. We'll see when he gets there. But that's a, a significant um, advantage for uh, Dracados right now. On the other hand, he doesn't have any bombs at the moment, so... Neither does Yunos, and he's in the same dungeon, so it looks like they will run into perhaps the same problem. This being the issue of shuffled drop groups, and anybody who's played it knows it well. If you can't figure out who's got what, it, it becomes extremely difficult. And, it, you know, it could be gels, it could be Zol. Uh, there's guaranteed to be at least one enemy in each particular set that drops a bomb, so there's no way for you to be inside of a dungeon and not have an enemy that drops bombs for you. But it's up to you to figure out which one it is, and there could be just a singular room at that. At that. Kratos making his way into level 8, which is the smart play if you're looking for bombs, which he has found for. And it looks like Yunos is going to make the same play, however he will not have the wand to assist him in taking down Dark Nuts and Pole's voice. Yeah, uh, the, the fact that Dracados ran into the wand is just one of many little things that can happen in random percent to really uh, turn the tide in a race. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah, Yunos, Yunos getting himself a full complement of bombs as well, and, and to answer the question out of chat, neither person got the Triforce out of level 2 due to the fact that neither of them had bombs nor could they find an enemy that dropped bombs in the level. So unfortunately, both will have to make their return to get that particular Triforce. Also quite interesting that we've got both players killing tried Dongo rooms in completely separate portions of level 8. Yeah, the palettes might look a little bit different. I think it's uh, Yunos playing on console and Dracados playing on emulator. Uh, another interesting thing is that these players have already gotten a recorder, a ladder, and a bow. Meaning the only thing that they're really looking for is a raft. Because looking at the statistics from this particular tournament, it's highly favored that you will find the silver arrows in level 9. So if you find, like in a vanilla overworld, where those are the only items you need, a recorder, a ladder, and a raft to get through everything, it's probably the wise play to just make your way towards level 9. And you know it's funny that the ladder heart is in fact not shuffled. I wonder if at what point he will make his way up towards the White Sword Cave to see if that has been changed or not. And he does pass up that uh, Armos, though, where that wand is, so... Passed them both up, and level 8 contains the raft, and Yunos grabbed the Triforce and left, so this is a big development for Dracados, kind of taking a little bit of a lead, as Yunos is gonna have to find that item in order to actually complete this scene. Very big. Uh, Yunos has been racing these randomizers since the beginning. Dracados has been uh, 
only uh, doing these recently. I, I, I it, he's been a, a regular in my chat for a while, um, and he only started recently joining our races. But he's proven himself very capable in that short time. He's placed pretty high in some uh, races with a lot of people in it, and uh, you know. I'm not surprised if he's to do well, but if he takes down Yunos in this race, like, he's certainly got a big edge on him so far, um, it, it would be quite the bit of an upset for him. Yeah, Drakados does find the second item in level 8 as well, which is the Boomerang. So, again, just reducing the number of items that are unknown for his case, and it will help him deduce faster whether or not the Silver Arrows are indeed in level 9, as we still have to find the power bracelet, which has been shuffled into one of these dungeons. That is an item that's guaranteed to not be in level 9. But uh, again, you know, not finding any items in level 8, you have to assume he'll probably go that back there before level 6 and maybe level 7, but having that raft already this early along with the ladder and the recorder has got to feel good. Yep. Uh... Kratos also making a safety purchase of some wooden arrows that's going to take care of even more potential blocks that could have interfered with his progress here. It looks like the shops aren't shuffled at all, so we're going to see the items that we expect to see in the shops. But the only thing that I don't know is if uh, a candle shop has been entered at all, because that would tell us if Boomstick is on or not, which, uh, well... Boomstick just, uh, it makes the wand shoot bombs instead of fire, so... It's Did Kratos useful. pick up a potion? Uh, he might have. I didn't see him get a tenth heart, I have to assume that he picked up a potion, which I don't agree with. Or not, I don't disagree with, rather. I mean, at this point, you've got a wand and a wood sword, and you haven't had too much of a trouble... Uh, and you don't know if you're going to be able to get that magical sword or not anyways. So this gives him a little bit of extra safety going into those two Wizrobe dungeons that he's going to have to deal with pretty quick. Yeah, so definitely, definitely, I think, a good choice on his part, because there is nothing worse than getting deep into level 6 and being sitting on a heart, and, you know, you have already gotten through a bunch of tough rooms, and then you're going to have to do it again if you die. So having that potion will give him that extra safety net to help get through those difficult dungeons. And meanwhile, Yunos going through, I believe, what is level 5 here, and uh, making pretty quick work of it. A little bit low on health, but I believe still searching for that Triforce. I don't believe he's found the item yet either, and he's been... You know, I think he's in that go mode of, okay, well, I've already got my bow, I've got my ladder, I've got my recorder, I do need the raft, but... You know, how much do I want to search in these really hard dungeons? Yeah, so notably, he does have the recorder, and he's going to be able to return to any dungeon that he's beaten later, if need be. And Jerkato's going back into two and picking up that Triforce as well, so that gives him a one Triforce lead, as well as having a raft already. It is interesting to note that he's passing up all of the secret locations and not picking up those rupees. Uh, he's already passed the 30 secret, and I don't know that he's been to the northeast for the 100. Uh, you should know where the blue ring is located at in this particular seeds. And so it's interesting to note that he hasn't taken the time to go out of his way to do that either. You're speaking of Yunos? Speaking of Dracados. Oh, well, he already picked up 100 secret um, on the south coast. So, uh, he might have been doing that just to have the ability to buy the arrows more than anything. And maybe whatever else he needed, but uh, apparently he's not going to go out of his way enough to pick up the blue ring and anything of that nature. And you know, it's unfortunately finding the, the normal staircase for level 5, when you have a segmented 
dungeon that normally has a staircase, it will have the original staircase along with another one that will transport you to the other portion of the dungeon. So unfortunately, still not finding that item, and I believe this single block room will finally be it. But he's got to kill some blue wiz ropes with a wood sword and one and a half hearts. Yeah, blue dark nuts, but yes. Yeah, so this yes, is, uh... blue dark nuts. He is a blue wiz rope, or a purple wiz rope, my apologies. <laughs> it, it, he's hoping that the blue wiz rope does not die. So, we'll see. This is a, a quite a bit of a challenge here, for sure. Uh, you know, this is something that you would do in any percent, basically. You would be fighting in this room, uh, five or six blue darkness, I think, I guess it's six. Um, you know, trying to get the recorder, but, uh, normally you would come in with more than one bomb, and you'd be able to use some on these guys, so Indeed, having to sword and... them all down is uh, a little tedious and quite dangerous. And it seems like they're possibly in the no drop group as well, which is just, you know, compounding the problem as you don't get any life back from them. He does get it taken care of. And we'll see what he ends up finding in the staircase. And it is the 80 key, which he has 80 keys, so not fantastic. But I think yeah. for him, it's probably the best item he could find, knowing what we know, in that it's not the raft, and that Silver Arrows and Red Ring are most likely a nine. Yeah, it is looking that way. I mean, it, it, Silver Arrows and Red Ring would have been a great find for him, for sure. But... Uh, barring that, uh, perhaps White Sword if it were shuffled, but it's... I'm guessing that White Sword is also going to be in its vanilla spot as well. I'm sure we're going to discover that very quickly as soon as Yunus gets out of this dungeon. Yeah, I would definitely assume both, both of them will head on up to the normal place to find out what is actually in the White Sword cave. And if it is shuffled, uh, that again means that Dracados kind of has a little bit of an advantage here. He's already got 11 hearts and will possibly have the ability to get that magical sword a lot sooner. Uh, one thing that was notable that I, I saw that uh, we have not uh, pointed out, it looked like to me, I, I only saw one uh, Aquamanus fought as far as bosses go so far, but I think that bosses may have zero HP. Yeah, we saw we saw Yunos or Dracados, I'm sorry, attack a Gleok with the wood sword, and it killed him. And when it was a four-headed Gleok, it took four hits. So I would definitely agree okay. that they are zero HP bosses. And the wood sword is in fact in its normal cave, so a weapon upgrade for Yunos, and I'm sure it will not be too far behind for Dracados. Okay, I missed the the Gleok fight, but. Uh, that's pretty notable as far as need for another weapon goes, because, um, you know, that's gonna make, uh, several of the more difficult battles, um, much easier to handle. Dracado's still farming for items, interestingly, even though he's got everything that he knows would be required. Yeah, and I mean, again, him finding the any key here is probably, again, the, the best item for sure that he could find. Because, I mean, outside of that, you've got uh, items that don't do you any good. A power bracelet and, and things like that that aren't needed for this seed. He could be thinking, okay, well, maybe silver arrows are shuffled out of level 9. But again, we don't even know that Ganon's required. So generally, it's, it's better to gamble that don't need it or that they're in nine instead of digging every single dungeon and hopefully after finding the any key here he won't spend the time digging level six and level seven for an item because that could be very costly on time yep you know it's now discovering that armos are shuffled and <laughs> probably a little frustrated at that point so but he is gonna know uh there uh when he sees that 10 secret he knows where the armos item moved to uh because the Armos item would have moved to where that 10 secret was originally. Yeah, we'll see if he ends up going back. It could be the raft item, but again, like you were talking, he's got to be a little frustrated at 
not having checked those to begin with, because now he has to make the trek back over to that portion of the overworld, which cost you, you know, it could take you almost a minute or, or so to get back over there. And again, the wand, while it's helpful, is definitely not the item he's currently searching for. Oh, yes, of course, the n not having the raft is hurting him as much or more than anything else, but yeah, the, the wand no longer uh, quite the uh, advantage now that both of them have white sword, but it is still quite helpful because you can push A and B at the same time to attack with both the wand and the white sword at the same time to do magical sword damage. Definitely, and uh, we've got Dracados going into 4 while Yunos is now in level 6. Uh, unfortunately, he took a death to a land mola, the blue land mola being fantastic to deal with. Um, but also note that Yunos at some point had bought a bomb upgrade, so he does have a 12 bomb capacity, which can turn out to be a big deal, because I don't believe we have Boomstick in this scene. Finding that Triforce super quick, but it's going to dig level 6 for the item. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Yunos uh, seems to have used the, a, a tingle-based ROM and then selected the um, the Wizrobe sprite to play with, so now all of his Wizrobes are tingles. Just for fun. Got to increase the chaos for sure. So he's heading back over this direction. He's going to check that Armos item and we'll find that wand. He's going to make his way back to level 2. I guess he has never gone back in for the Triforce, or he did and didn't find it, so he's going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, Dracados, meanwhile, is still digging uh, level 4 for items here, and it's taking him a long time. The Triforce was in the very first room he entered after the entry room, and uh, finally I think he's found the item, but whatever he found here, it's not going to be worth it. It's the power bracelet. Yeah, he doesn't he even take it. Uh, again, I would think at this point, and I, again, I hope he doesn't dig 6 and 7 for items, or he's going to lose, I, I would say, any chance of winning this race, barring some crazy level 9, just because you know Yunos is, while he still has to find the raft, he's not going to dig 6 and 7 for it first. He'll go yeah. back to 8 where he knows there are two items available. You, you know, it could be the case that Dracados is not expecting that he's in the lead and thinking that since he's playing Yunos that maybe he has to take some chances and hope that Red Rain and Silver Arrows are potentially outside of 9 and that, uh, you know, he finds the Silver Arrows somewhere and Ganon is forced. Um, but uh, it, he, I guess he just doesn't know how good of a situation he's in right now and how he's only hurting himself at the moment, so we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, and it's hard to tell, right? It, you know, it, no matter who you are, you can have a gauge of your of how you're playing against how you normally play. But again, with these being random flags and every game being different, sometimes even that is hard to gauge. So you're right, it could just be in this, well, the only way I can win is if I find Silver Arrows in level 7. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot believe they showed up, but there they are. I mean, it, Yunos is going to find that right away too, but again, this proving that what Dracados was doing was not necessarily the incorrect thing, and now he should really be in go mode. It should be get the Triforce and get out of here, because I've got everything to complete this scene. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure neither of them would mind seeing a red ring, but, uh, you know, you're not going to go out of your way to look for that. You got a race to win here. Yeah, and I mean, Dracados is at 241 rubies. I'm sure he's saving up to get that blue ring, which, while not as good as the red ring, has been proven to make a difference in races as well. I mean, it, it, depending on how difficult level 9 ends up being as far as the Wizard rooms and such. 
Yeah. Uh, notably, also, Dracados has uh, 11 hearts. Um, with the, the random percent flags, there's a 50-50 a shot that the sword hearts are shuffled. Which means that right now, with the heart count that he has, he has basically a 20% chance of being able to pick up the magic sword. Uh, picking up one more heart would increase his odds of being able to pick up the magic sword to 80%. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's a bit painful to come up here towards level 6 and right past the magic sword spot without having that one more heart because, uh, you know, we're ra rolling a 1 in 5 chance here on this magic sword. We'll see if he can actually pick it up or not. And he cannot. Which, you're here, why not check it? There's, it's an extra few seconds, and if you could pick it up, it's a big advantage. At this point, I don't think he's going to end up getting the magical sword unless he really wants to spend the time digging a heart, which I don't think that he's going to want to do. We'll see how quickly he can find the Triforce in comparison to Yunos, who is now making his way back to level 8 as we had predicted he would, I'm going to search for those two items available in this dungeon. And a quick, quick Triforce for Dracados. This is turning out to be a fantastic seed. He has already got his eight pieces of Triforce and is going to make his way towards level nine. Meanwhile, Yuno still has to find the raft and complete level four. Yeah, uh, getting eight Triforces at 35 minutes in is pretty darn good. Uh, you know, that would be acceptable for a seed with zero HP enemies. When you've actually got to do some combat, with enemies that have HP, uh, yeah, this is a uh, pretty exceptional here. So, uh, e even though over your normal Zelda randomizer seed, quote unquote, um, you know they're not doing any exploration of the overworld, but uh, still, you spend most of your time in this game in dungeons, and just he's just done a fantastic job of getting through here, and of course the game has done a nice job of handing him what he needed. Yeah, and I mean, it shapes too, right? Even though the Triforces are in their normal room, it still shapes. Right. So you've got to find that map, you got to find the right bomb walls, and it's also interesting to note, while at 246 rupees, he's not even going to bother to get a blue ring. He is in, I've got to win this. He's got to be feeling good right now, right? You're 37 minutes in, and I don't know how he feels as a player, but if I'm going up against someone of the caliber of Yunos, and I'm already in 9 and 37 minutes, I'm probably panicking. He's really close to getting done. Right. I... I, I am taking nothing for granted, that's for sure. And I mean, he's got a potion too, right? He's got 11 hearts and a potion. Uh, and Patra is obviously being no problem and have a great HP shuffle to kill the uh, the orbits in one hit. The bosses have no HP, so Patras aren't going to be a, t a problem to deal with. Um, bombs could possibly be an issue, depending on what drops bombs in here. But we'll have to keep an eye on that particular thing as we go. And meanwhile, Yuno's... Looks like he's still going to be searching for the item in eight here, and I don't remember exactly where the raft is, but I don't think that he is in the right area. Yeah. Uh, so we do have something pretty notable here happening on Dracados' stream. He has found Ganon. Who wow! Is, since he's playing as uh, Dark Nut is Zelda's form, and Ganon is zero HP. Wow! Ganon is down, and uh, we don't know if Ganon is forced or not, um, but regardless... Dracados has everything he needs now to complete this. He just needs to find Zelda, walk into her room, and, uh, you know, save the day. And Zelda might not look like Zelda, but it's, it's still Zelda in spirit, I guess. Indeed, and important to note, Ganon was not in his room, which means Zelda probably will not be in hers either. So right. you could access her from any side, but again, not knowing whether or not Ganon is forced We've seen it before, where somebody's looking for a shutter door, and that's not what you needed to look for, it was a bomb wall. So you have to pay attention and make sure that you check every room, even if you have Ganon down. Right, right, yes. 
the, 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 the typical thing that would happen in a Ganon forced uh, randomizer is that uh, you would find a a single shutter door somewhere that would open uh, even if uh, there are enemies in the room once you've killed Ganon. Uh, it, and it will stay shut even if all the enemies are dead until you've killed Ganon. And you know when you see a shutter door like that, that that's where Zelda is. But if there's... If Ganon isn't first forced, there's no signifier like that at all. So the only... Uh, real things that you can find if Ganon isn't forced are... Um, finding... Walking into Zelda's room or finding the compass. Uh, so you might see Dracados do some clearing out of enemies in order to, um, to hunt for the compass a little bit, but other than that, he's got uh, the magic key here, he's got eight bombs, you know, not as many as maybe ideal, but it's a good amount, so he's got pretty free exploration of level nine here, and he's just got to find where Zelda has snuck herself off to right now. Yeah, and in the meantime, Yunos did find the raft and has made his way to level 4. And looking at the pattern that Dracados is doing in the rooms, he is checking every room uh, as he went right as he exited that staircase and checked the singular room, which was not a shutter door. So definitely making the correct choices as far as searching for Zelda. And it looks like we have what would be mixed hints as we find the hint that silvers lie elsewhere. That is, that is absolutely shocking to me because I thought for sure that this was just community hints the whole time. Every team we've seen, I think, has been a community hint. But, uh... You know, oddly, I guess just going the wrong way and seeing what item might be in there since it could possibly be the red ring. Right. But we do have a map for Dracados. Pretty, pretty standard fare for level 9. A little bit different. Not quite as Swiss cheesy as always, but... Gonna go ahead and try to clear out these blue wizard robes, or maybe just get into the staircase would be my assumption. Or take a bomb wall down, that works too. Yeah, I'd be all for sneaking through that door right now. Uh, it's also cool to note that orange wizard robes do go down in one swing of the white sword, so those are not too difficult to deal with. Yeah. Uh, wizard robes, notably, are the the number one enemy that the wand is not helping with, so you can't use the double damage on the wizard robes. You have to you take them down with sword or bombs, um, and bombs, of course, are a limited resource that you also need for exploration, so, um, yeah, that just uh, only complicates the matters when you when you actually see wizard robes. Yeah, and again, it's, again, Dracados here, while he, he's making the right choices, right? He knows that Ganon was out of his room, so Zelda can be anywhere. He also doesn't know if Ganon was required, so he's making sure to check every single room on the way to where he's going, uh, instead of relying on the indicator of a shutter door. So if you're playing these flags, Dracados, take note, he is playing this correctly. Meanwhile, Yunos up and A does find the map, and unfortunately, the Triforce being one room to the left of start, and he almost full explored the dungeon. He's got to be shaking his head right now. Yep, that's uh, <laughs> those are the breaks sometimes. Meanwhile, Dracados frantically searching for our princess he finds a shutter door, but unfortunately, it does not open. Uh, avoiding these wizard rooms is definitely probably a good choice if you've got other places to go, but uh, could be blocking where he needs to be. At this point, it's anybody's race, because I don't think Ganon was difficult to find, and again, we don't know if he's needed, so it could be... Never mind! Oh, wait, no, this is a, a trap room. I was going to say, that could be Zelda, but with it being a trap room, it automatically opens. It still could be Zelda, of course, but it's not. Just more wizard robes. Yeah, so this is basically a race for who can find the princess. Because at this point, we still don't know if Ganon's required. And Yunos could take the right path to get there. It's 
This is uh, certainly the most exciting race I've seen in this tournament since last night. <laughs> I was gonna say since last night. <laughs> After rewatching that race, um, I, I think TG still should have won that because uh, you know he just should have. But uh, I'm glad that we could give a nail biter and some entertainment for people to watch. You know, get stuck on the fairies on the red keys. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But they also uh, drop bombs, so that's quite interesting. Yeah, it's nice when that happens, when you get the red keys or the souls gels that end up uh, splitting off and give you bomb drops. It gives you a lot of options to farm up bombs quickly in a dungeon. Meanwhile, Dracato's still just not having any luck whatsoever finding what would be Ganon in the seed and... Uh, wow. Zelda for Yunos and finds that one-hit KO, and I'm sure he's happy to see that as well. Alright, I'm sure Yunos wouldn't mind a little bit of a challenge there either. Yeah, I'm sure he feels like he's probably more fighting Ganon than any of his opponents would be. Indeed, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure what Dracados is doing killing this Patra. Um, and kind of made him a little bit of time, in. but... So, it's the race for the princess, or in this case, Ganon, who is going to find it first for coming down to the wire. A little bit of an advantage for Dracados, as he has indeed explored more of the dungeon than Yunos. But yeah. I figure at this point, Yunos is going to probably clear a few rooms that Dracados has skipped, um, and maybe might find where he needs to go. Yeah, Dracados is also overlapping a lot of rooms here. I, I feel like his exploration needs to be a bit quicker here to really take advantage of this this time uh, head start that he had in level 9. And uh, if he doesn't get moving a little, then you know, might catch up to him and find the yeah, he, first. You gotta think he's looking for a compass too, right? You know, he's been clearing some rooms. It's like, well, why can't I get the break I need? Keeps running yeah. into Patras. He's now low on bombs but does find another bomb wall and accesses the portion of the dungeon he hasn't been in. Then, then again, the more rooms you go through, the... There it is! ...lower utility the compass has. Did he find the shutter door? He found the shutter door! Dracodos is gonna take the match over Yunos! With Man. the final time of 46-24! Zelda was not in a room as Yunos finds a room and a handful of rupees. What a race! That's Little little bit of irony there that Yunos finds Zelda's room just as Dracados finds Zelda. But that was a, a crazy race and a ridiculous time by Dracados. 46-17. Good for him. A fantastic race and a rip my heart in IRC. Again, you've got to be thinking if you're Dracados and you're this far ahead in the seed compared to where you're normally at time-wise, where's the dot done from Yunos? Because Yunos, you know, is a speedster when it comes to these things, and unfortunately it came down to Dracados found the raft, and Yunos had to go look for it. Right. Yeah, the raft was the big thing. The wand certainly didn't hurt either. And, uh, you know, just uh, having a little better luck in level 2, perhaps, getting the ladder first. But... Wow. I, um... Uh, that 1-1 one, one group is going to be stacked. <laughs> that is true. Wait. I I would want to get into the... I mean, I'm in the 2-0 group, and I'm kind of sweating, but, I mean, if you look at the number of people that are going to get dropped down to the 1-1 one, one group just due to the, the pairings, that is going to be absolutely no cakewalk to get your second win. Well, not even drop down. We're talking about people coming up to the 1-1 one, one group as well. That, that also, have, yeah. We're probably going to have a, a Saver and an RC drone in that 1-1 one, one group. Yeah. So... I'm glad I'm not there. I'm glad I'm in the 2-0 group, because that is not going to be fun. There are quite a few Titans, but Dracados taking his second win will be joining the 2-0 group, and has proven to be absolutely no slouch whatsoever. What a time. Meanwhile, Yunos finds Zelda's door as well. Gonna finish up Looks like with an official SRL time of 48.50, just a couple of minutes behind Dracados, and, you know, I, I, but the chat was indicating 
he had a face when he found that raft. That's got to be that's got to be what he's attributing this to. Obviously, as you pointed out, the wand was a big deal too, as he spent quite a bit of time clearing out some of those dark nut rooms, also. Yeah, Yunos's nine was significantly faster than Dracados's, but just not enough to make up the difference there. Speaking of Dracados, congratulations, sir. Welcome to the 2 O bracket. Thank you, God, the clever nine. And I messed my lap so much up. <laughs> Uh, congratulations. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I guess first, give us your your thoughts on this this seat as a whole. The forty six seventeen. That's a fantastic time. You didn't have zero HP enemies or anything to deal with. You had to go out there and and earn your way through all those dungeons. Um, of course you had triforces in their triforce rooms, but still, were you surprised with how fast that went? Pretty much because shape dungeons always takes a lot of time, in my opinion. But he was kind of lucky to get most to the triforce and the item, so I could get everything pretty fast. Just not level nine. Yeah, it's, it seemed like the the big the big thing that was the decider was one. You decided to check the Armo statues and found the wand, which ended up helping in the Dark Nut dungeons a lot. And two, you dug level eight early and found the raft, which unfortunately Yunos ended up going back to after completing everything um, other than level four. He, he didn't dig level six, but still had to go back into level eight to get that raft. And that was kind of, those two items together kind of made up the time difference. Yeah, I went usually my route I take, but yeah, it ended up being the right route, more or less. Did you feel like when you had the raft and the, the ladder and the recorder and the bow, did you feel like... Uh, uh, what were the chances? What was going through your mind at that point? Like, because we saw you still looking for items, and both me and Adeginos thought, you know, at this point, it sure seems like the Red Rain and Silver Arrows are going to be in nine, right? And you don't even know if the Silver Arrows are necessary. Uh, but you were still digging for items a little bit, and I'm, I'm wondering uh, what your thought process was there. Well, it wasn't sure if Silvers and Red Ring were in level 9, so I was still going for items, and luckily I ran into Silver Arrow, so after that I was only fixed on finding tripods and just go to level 9 as quick as possible. Yeah, it was, it was pretty ironic because we were discussing that, I think, for a second time, just as you entered the staircase in level 7, you're like, oh, well, never mind, there's the Silver Arrows. So, on your part, it was it was the correct choice, right? I mean, overall, the Silver Arrows just have not been in level 9 very often, but in this case, you know, digging for items in the other dungeons turned out to be the correct choice. Uh, Yunos, what are your thoughts on this race? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh, terrible. I, I think the thing that really... You could probably see how disgusted I was with everything that was happening. The deaths in level 1. Um, the raft being like one room above, you know... I dug up the whole left side of level 8 looking for that raft, and it was one room above that reverse C that I'd gone through the first time through. Uh, went through, like, all of level 4 in the Triforce in one room to the left, and, yeah, that was great. So, that was just a lot of, like, really wrong choices. Yeah, I forgot about the Gria at level 1 early. They were giving you a lot of trouble, which, again, anybody can have that problem. It's If you have HP shuffle on Blue Gria and low health... Uh, it's a it's a nightmare because especially if there's bubbles in the room. I should have left it alone. I shouldn't. Have, I just should have left the item. I mean, it ended up being the red candle, which helped. But yeah, you're. I mean, you could have gotten a blue candle elsewhere. Yeah, it, regardless of like whatever it turned out to be at that point, I still should have left it. I had a triforce on the floor. 
And uh, where'd the recorder come from? I already had that. So That was in the staircase, yeah. Right, yeah. I should've just left it. So I never bothered. Yeah, that's that's always a tough call to make, though. You you don't know which room the item is in, and you know that you still need items for sure. Um, so, yeah, leaving that there, I I don't know. I I I'm, I'm not sure that I could have brought myself to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I would it, have if I weren't a stubborn person, but I wouldn't <laughs> lose that fight. So I kept going back in. Otherwise, I would have left. My yeah, better path I, prevailed. I, I'm not sure most of us could have convinced ourselves to leave that there. Especially Ampharos. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, the that wand at the Armos also made a decent amount of a difference. Uh, I it, it was interesting that Dracatos was checking those to begin with but uh, it, yeah I, I mean you know the odds that you need both armos to be shuffled and there to be uh, the power base to be to be shuffled for something useful to be at one of those spots so I, I certainly don't blame you for skipping that but that's got to be something that uh, you know it's got to be you know you got to be kicking yourself about a little bit because of at the time you spent sorting down those blue dark nuts with the wood sword yeah yeah as soon as i picked up that rod at that point um i thought well uh, if he's playing right if Travis is playing right he he's probably ahead of me then with that rod because you know what the smart thing to do in random percent is to uh is to check for the armos item yeah especially if you've got shuffled hp and uh you know um, a vanilla overworld where you know we're gonna need several items. Even if it is the power bracelet, you can still use that to travel a little bit. Yeah, it would have been a good item to have. I, it's, you know, I left three, um, and I don't even think three went all that well. I was a little frustrated at the end of three with it taking me five minutes to get out of there. And then I was going to one, obvious choice, and I think at that point when heading to one, I thought, okay, the next thing I'll do is check the power bracelet item, and then after that one I was just, like, uh, ready to burn the house down, so yeah. Um, those trap rooms are pretty awesome. I liked those. Those were... Yeah, I never... Of... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I noticed Dracados, like, uh, I, I don't know if you're uh, comfortable with the ladder clips or just didn't want to take the time to do them to go around those traps but it I mean it worked out well for you in the end but that had to be painful to go through those rooms several times and take two or three hearts of damage every time yeah I took some hits I shouldn't take but well ended up pretty well even if I was close to dying at some points but yeah Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Adrigenos and I were both looking ahead at the, the brackets and commenting on uh, <laughs> what a, a murderer's row the, the one in one bracket is already shaping up to be with Yunos there, among others. And uh, Dracados proving to be no slouch at all in his first two matches moves on to the 2 0 bracket. And uh, yeah, things aren't going to get any easier from here for you. So. I honestly didn't even expect to win today, but well, I was slightly faster and lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes that's all it takes, especially with uh, the random percent tournament, is just a little bit of luck and to play well, and you can pull out a win against anybody. I mean, it's happened in the last tournament. It, it just, all you got to do is play well, play your game, and have a little bit of luck, and anything can happen. Yeah, you, you certainly had some things fall your way, but at the same time, you didn't really make any notable mistakes that uh, I could really see. So, um, you know, I, we questioned why you were still digging items a little bit, but in the end, it turned out to be the right thing to do. Just that the silver arrows happened to be 
you know, right in your face in level 7, but you didn't know that was coming. Um, so, uh, yeah, you, you played very well and you, you earned this win, for sure. Uh, and then it just, the difference happens to be uh, some very small things that, uh, you know, random percent can lead us to, so. It'll be, uh, be fun to watch both of you the rest of the way. Right yeah, absolutely. Do you uh, do you guys have anything else you want to add as uh, we start to wrap this up a little bit? Right, good game. Yeah, it was a nice game. Thank you, and thanks for the restream and for the commentary. Yeah. Yeah, big shout outs to Feasel for picking up the restream on this this uh, this afternoon and for Jake Hoper uh, and joining me on commentary. I was a little bit afraid I was have to do it all myself and thank you to those gentlemen for helping out with uh, with this race. Yeah, turned out pretty well. I'm I'm really glad that thanks everyone. Be sure to follow all these guys of course. Um and I I think that's about going to do it for all of us. I mean, no one else has anything else to say. We'll see you next time. There will be lots more races. Check the schedule. Yeah. See you soon.